If you are struggling with hitting, you are just getting over the top of balls, straight down the middle, low in the zone, not controlling your PCI, stay tuned for this entire video. I'm going to help you take your game from leaving people on base to getting seven plus runs every single game. Shout out to my sponsor, U4GM, the cheapest stubs on the market just got even cheaper. Go ahead and show your boy some support. Use code FET for a discount. Cheap, cheap, cheap stubs. If you don't feel like grinding on the market and flipping, go ahead, hit up U4GM and get right. All right, so the number one adjustment is the pitcher release. You don't have to be able to see exactly what the pitch is. You just have to make sure in the first two or three pitches of every ball game, you are tracking the release. So as you can see, I have the whole outside of the plate cut off. The pitcher is in the middle of the mound. So you want to watch where his release is at. So take one or two strikes, pick out where the release is at or close to where the release is at and match that up with stadium backgrounds you can see the release right there that is going to give you a lot of information if it's going to be a ball if it's going to be a strike if it's high in the zone if it's low in the zone so right there he releases it and you can see the ball is traveling outside of the zone this is with me not moving my pci right here you can see a higher pitch and in the zone my two zone on the bats show you where the ball needs to be so if he pitches it and it crosses his body right away that lets you know it's going to be an inside pitch that's going to let you lay off of the sliders the cutters all them pitches that won't give you great exit velo is the pitches that you need to let go if they throw a dot on the corner it's okay because you get three swings every time you get up the bat so off speed pitch wait on it always look fastball the number one key is look at your opponent's fastest pitch pay attention to that be dialed in for that adjust to everything else so the pitcher is in the middle he releases it right there you can see both of my middle pci parts is in the middle small movements to the left or to the right if you get a pitch in the zone okay so last time was an off speed this time was a cutter and we take both of them deep so right there sinker goes out side the zone you can see it once it released it is going off to the right i don't have to swing at that right here straight down the middle it does out of his hand and comes down we get great pci on the ball now it's all about timing okay so once you got the pitchers release then it's all about making sure that you let balls go outside the zone that is not going to give you great feedback and then you make sure that you take all the ones in the zones or mistake pitches and you ride them so as you can see right here it crosses his body a little bit but it's inside my two white zones that's going to give my guy max power and good exit velo okay you want to be able to be underneath the ball so then you can get more home runs and you can get more doubles and base hits so right here he switches pitchers zero era pitcher he's been playing very good with him first pitch is a fastball i didn't take a strike so i can pick up on his speed right here he comes with an off speed pitch and i seen it go out of his hand up it lets me know knuckle curve curve ball it goes up in the zone and then it drops it stays in the middle of my white pci and right there we able to ride it small movements you don't want to be dropping your pci all the way down you don't want to be lifting your pci all the way up small movements starting in the middle or the bottom let the ball come to you